Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to access the protected route. If I go to postman and if I am accessing this URL that is localhost 3000 slash user with a valid access token, then we will get a response like this. I have copied this response and I have opened this quicktype.io site and I have pasted this response here. I have given the model name as user model and it has generated the corresponding model. Now let me move to the project. In the project, in the models folder, I have created a file named as user model and in this user model, I have pasted the entire code. Now in the roots folder in app roots file, here I have created a root profile like I have created in case of login. In app pages, here I have created a profile root and in the routes array, I have added the profile. In the page, I have a specified profile view and in the binding, I have a specified profile binding. Now this profile view, profile binding and profile controller that I have created inside the profile folder, which is created inside modules. As you can see in the profiles folder, I have created profile binding, profile controller and profile view. Now, whenever we will launch the application, if the user is logged in, then the user should be redirected to the profile view. And if the user is not logged in, then the user should be redirected to the login view. To do that, in the main.dart here, I have created the instance of gate storage. And in the initial route here, I have checked if gate storage.read, get storage key dot access token equals to equals to null. If the access token is null, then it should be redirected to the initial that which is the login route else it should be redirected to the profile page now let me move to my api provider in my api pro provider here i have created a function get profile which is returning future of user model in the try block by using the div instance i have called the get method and to this get method i have passed user because the root name is user as i have created in the api and whatever response I am getting, that response I am passing to the user model from JSON function. Now, if any error occurs, then I have returned future.error and I am passing that error. And if any exception occurs, then I have written future.error and I am passing that exception. Now, let me move to repository.dart. Here, I have created this get profile, which is returning future of user model. And this get profile is actually calling the get profile, which I have created inside the my API provider. Now, let me move to profile folder. Let me move to profile binding. In profile binding here in the dependencies, I have called get.put, then profile controller. And to the constructor of the profile controller here, I have passed a repository. And to the constructor of the repository, I have passed my API provider. Now let me move to profile controller. In profile controller, as you can see, I have created a repository and I have passed that instance of repository to the profile controller. I have declared a reactive variable named as user ID and I have created the instance of get storage. Now in the on ready method, I have called the get profile function and in this get profile function, first of all, I'm showing the loader. After that, by using the repository instance, I'm calling the get profile method. And in this value, which will contain the user model. If the response is successful, then I'm canceling the dialogue. And from this response, I'm getting the user ID, which I'm storing to the user ID variable, which I have created above. And if any error occurs, then the dialogue will be canceled. And I have displayed this message means whatever information or whatever error is stored in this error variable that I have printed as a message. And if any exception occurs, then again, the cancel is then the dialogue is canceled. And here I am displaying the message as something went wrong. Now let me move to profile view. In profile view, you can see there is a scaffold in the app bar I have taken uh, in the action I have taken on an icon button and whenever this icon button will be pressed at that time the get profile function of the controller will be called and in the body i have taken a column widget in the column widget i have taken a text widget text widget which is wrapped inside obx and to this text widget i am passing the or i am printing the value of the user id and i have created a elevated button 
and whenever this button will be pressed at that time the logout function of controller will be called now let me move to the controller here you can see i have created this logout function what it is doing it is erasing the value from the gate storage and i am redirecting the user to the login page now let me run the project and let me show you the output now here i am providing the correct username as tom and password as 1234567 now click on login it is displaying message login valid so in login controller i need to remove this message and once the user is logged in successfully then i should redirect the user to the profile page and to do that here i am writing get dot of all named roots dot profile let me save and let me do the login once again the login is successful it is moving to the profile page and it is displaying the user id as 2 now in the app bar here i have taken an action button and whenever this action button will be pressed it will actually call the get profile method now whenever the get profile method is called it is actually calling the user root and this user will user root will give a correct response if the access token is valid now the expiry time of access token is 1 minute so if i click here after 1 minute then the access token should have expired with the help of a refresh token the new access token should have generated and after that it should have called the user root let me show you here what i will do is that i am opening the dev browser and let me move to network now if i click here then it is giving me the response let me hit once again now once again if i hit here then you can see here it is giving 401 the invalid access token and once the token is invalid it is actually calling the refresh token as you can see it is calling the refresh token in the response we are getting the new access token and with the help of this new access token again this user root is called and it is giving me the user id as 2 and that output we are getting here okay and if i click on logout then i am moving to the login screen this is how we can manage the access token and refresh token in flutter using getx and by using the node js api i hope you have enjoyed the series thank you so much for watching